Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Yeah, it was a little dark. Had to turn that light on, and certainly a uh, peace and blessings upon you this evening. Uh, we're going to keep moving right along with the extraordinary African Americans. Um, like I previously said, uh, the next is going to be Henry Asawa Tanner, an artist during a time period of 1859 to 1937. And for him, this is what it states. Born in 1859, Henry Osawa Tanner was given his middle name because his father, an African Methodist, ministered, admired John Brown who had killed five pro-slavery settlers near the Osawatomi settlement in Kansas three years earlier. Tanner began painting at an early age. In 1879, he entered the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. There he met artist and teacher Thomas Eakins, who greatly influenced his work. Although Tanner had the support of Eakins and the other instructors, many students were jealous of his work and angry that an African American would aspire to a career as an artist. One night, they tied him to his easel and dumped him in the middle of Broad Street. Hmm. Now after two years of this kind of treatment, Tanner left the academy. Some critics think Tanner's painting, The Battle of Life, which pictures an elk being attacked by wolves was really Tanner's artistic way of expressing the attacks he had suffered. Now after several years of financial struggle, Tanner took a job teaching at Clark University in Atlanta. Then in 1891, he left for Europe. Arriving in Paris, Tanter, Tanner, not Tanter, excuse me. Tanner enrolled at the Academy Julian, where he became the favorite pupil of artist Jean Joseph Benjamin Constant. Constant. Tanner loved living in France. But after a bout with typhoid fever, he returned home to recover. He continued to paint and completed one of his most famous pictures, The Banjo Lesson. Known for his many paintings on biblical themes, Tanner traveled to Egypt and what is now Israel to work. The brutality of World War, World War I shocked Tanner, who developed a gardening program for wounded soldiers in France. The program was so successful that in 1923, the French government awarded him the Legion of Honor. And today, Tanner is regarded as one of America's most talented artists. All right, thank you for your attention. Uh, for one of America's most famous artists, and 
Next on our list for extraordinary African Americans is Ida B. Wells Barnett, a journalist and a civil rights activist. During the time period of 1862 to 1931. So certainly in a moment, I would greatly love for you to stay tuned and I will be back with you soon. All right. So later here on Poem Praise to y'all. All right.